a conditional, like a switch statement, can sometimes be fraudulent. It appears to be a nice and simple solution, but it is in fact hiding duplication. Refactoring to polymorphism can help you get rid of the duplicated parts and improve the design. This class represents a point on a coordinate system. It contains a forward method which takes a direction and switches over it. For each direction, it returns a new but different point. Same goes for the backward method. I can already smell some duplicated code here. In each case, one is being added to or subtracted from the X or the Y. The duplication is not obvious enough to get rid of it. We first have to make it more explicit by finding the commonalities of the statements. Now let's make the duplication more explicit. I can just add a zero here, which should have no effect. I can do the same here. And here. In this case, I will just add a minus one. It became more obvious now that each of the cases just did a simple addition. We should now be able to extract a common method that does the addition. There is a nice trick you can use for extracting this method by taking one example and extracting temporaries that should turn into parameters later. So I will now extract the temporaries. This should be added to x. This should be added to y. And I can now select this statement and extract the method. I will call it add. And as you can see, it finds similar occurrences of this method. So I will replace them as well. To finish up, I will inline my samples. Next up, I am not happy that the arguments to the add method are a primitive of x and a primitive of y. We do already have the point class which carries an x and an y. Why not use the point class instead? I will fix that by creating a new point class here. and by adding whatever this point contains to the current x and the current y. So I have now created a point here, but what I really would like is to have the point passed as an argument. So I will push it up by using the extract parameter refactoring. As a result, I can inline this and just rename it point. So as you can see, in each case, we are just adding another point to our current point. So each direction refers to a different point. It is something like a direction vector. If we looked at the backward method, the direction is completely the opposite. Here we have 0, 1 and here we have 0, minus 1. On east we have 1, 0 and here we have minus 1, 0. So it is completely the opposite. I'm just not happy that this switch statement is currently deciding for each case or each direction which point is gonna be added. I think that the direction should know which point is to be added. So let's move it there. For this I will create a public final point to the direction. And I will call it vector. Let's initialize it with null for now. 
So what if we move this to the north direction? We should then be able to use direction.vector. Yeah, it works. Let's do the same for the east direction. Now you can see that the cases are underlined. It shows us that we can merge them. Let's do that. So all the cases are now doing the same thing. So we should be able to get rid of the switch statement after all, because the default case is never invoked. So why bother? we are still in the green. Now I think that the backward method is doing something very similar, just doing a subtraction instead of an addition. So I will create this method now. Minus here and there. Now I should be able to do the same thing in the backward method. Yeah, it works. Now whoever was using the forward method before should be able to use the add method instead. And whoever was using the backward method before should be able to use the subtract method instead. So I will just inline those. By making the duplication more explicit at first, we were able to refactor the polymorphism. As a result, we got rid of the switch statement, which led to eliminating lots of duplicated code.